Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Mayor Marcia McLean, and I am proud to be leading today's press conference. Today, we are celebrating an exceptional occasion. The hard work and bravery of some of the most, my favorite people in the entire world, the men and women behind me, has paid off with the lowest crime rate on record in Santa Clarita history. <laughs> Woo! And before we begin, I would like to take a moment to recognize my fellow council members and other dignitaries in attendance. Mayor Pro Tem Cameron Smythe, <laughs> Council Member Bob Keller, <laughs> Council Member Bill Miranda, <laughs> Councilwoman Lorene West, <laughs> our City Manager Ken Striplin, <laughs> Assistant City Manager Frank Oviedo, Assistant Sheriff Tim Murakami from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Captain Robert Lewis from the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station. And representing our Congresswoman Katie Hill, we have Jonathan Amadi. Representing our State Senator Scott Wilk, Chris Huff. Representing our State Assemblywoman Christy Smith, we have Michelle Campbell. Field Deputy Stephanie English, representing Los Angeles County Supervisor Catherine Barger. From our Parks and Recreation and Community Service, Services Commission, we have Victor Lindenheim. From our Planning Commission, we have Rini Berlin. And we also have representatives from our local school districts, as well as College of the Canyons and Cal Arts. And thank you so much for being here. And I know we also have several members of the SCV Sheriff's Foundation in attendance, and could you please stand to be recognized? <laughs> Thank you to all of you for joining us here. Today we recognize the men and women of the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station for their successful crime-fighting efforts that led to significant reductions in the city's crime rates for 2018. Last year, we had a 28% reduction in grand theft auto, 23% reduction in robberies, 13.6% reduction in burglaries, and nearly 19% reduction in assaults. Those figures have contributed to an overall 20% crime rate reduction from 2017 to 2018. My city council colleagues and I applaud our deputies for what they have been able to achieve. Our deputies managed to reduce the crime rate during a time when changes in state initiatives created a more dangerous environment for communities across the state. Assembly Bill 109, Propositions 47 and 57 were aimed at decreasing the state prison population. These changes made it harder to arrest and keep criminals in prison. In fact, there was a spike in the crime rate across the state shortly after the new laws were put into effect from 2014 to 2016. Even with these challenges, our deputies were successful in fighting crime. Our city has long been hailed as a safe, family-friendly community, and thanks to our deputies, sheriff station staff, and vigilant residents, we will continue to build upon that reputation. My city council colleagues and I, along with Los Angeles County Supervisor Catherine Barger, have always placed public safety as our top community priority. We are fortunate to have an amazing partner in Supervisor Catherine Barger and would now like to show a special video message she created for our deputies. best in the nation and our team in the Santa Clarita Valley under the leadership of Captain Lewis is one of the best in the county. Thank you Captain and thanks to all our dedicated deputies who work at the Santa Clarita Valley Station each day with dignity, 
pride, and community-oriented attitude. Many of the deputies who work here also live in the Valley. They're invested in the community, and they take pride in the increasingly challenging jobs they perform each day. It's this team that keeps our community one of the safest in the nation. In addition to our patrol deputies, sergeants, and lieutenants, there are the dispatchers, clerical support, jailers, mechanics, and special teams, COBRA, J-team, zone deputies, crime impact team, and our detective bureau. We also appreciate other vital teams, including narcotics, the community partnership bureau, and our mental evaluation team. Because of your efforts, crime rates in the unincorporated area and the city are continually decreasing. Captain Lewis and Lieutenant Diaz have done an excellent job as strong leaders for the Valley in all of these efforts. I salute each of you and thank you for the work you do. And now I would like to introduce Assistant Sheriff Tim Murakami from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. It's an honor to be here and represent uh, Sheriff Ina Nolava in acknowledging the work uh, by Santa Clarita Station. Uh, being the 60 plus club, they actually gave me a lot of notes, but because of my age, I forgot I'm at home. Um, some people here understand that, AARP, thank you. Um, but they, what they've done is an amazing feat to drive the, uh, the crime down as low as, as it is under the leadership of you know, Captain Lewis, who did a phenomenal job. But I have to acknowledge the fact that this does not happen in a vacuum. It happens with the support of uh, city government, city manager, city uh, staff, the elected officials from the city, the supervisor's office, and the community all working together. So what it is, it's actually, a, um, I have to acknowledge the whole community for this achievement. Because what happens is that deputies can go out there and work hard and fight crime, but what gets the morale up is the fact that you guys support them. They can go out with the, uh, the, the strength and belief that uh, going out protecting the community is with the full support of you, and that's critical. In a community where they don't have your support, deputies are more uh, apt to not work as hard. But you guys are, are a valuable resource to them, and what it is too, these, they're highly motivated, and, they, and I'm glad to be here and acknowledge them. Um, they're far better cops than I ever was, you know. But, uh, but thank you. And now at this time, I'd like to introduce Captain Robert Lewis from the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station. Uh, thank you for your applause, but the applause really goes to uh, the deputies that are here, the sergeants, the lieutenants that uh, do all the work uh, as um, as a leader, I think every deputy and every lieutenant, every sergeant at the station, including my professional staff, are leaders. I'm truly humbled to be here to stand amongst them. And, the, and I always share with the troops every day that uh, when I come to work, it's always great to be working amongst people you truly respect. And uh, that is an, an honest thing that uh, I think all of us uh, from the department uh, really share because in turn, uh, we respect the public and we work with the public uh, in order to lower the crime. You know, I'm surrounded by some great people. Uh, I know uh, some of them didn't want to get dressed up uh, as much as they are today because they're usually not dressed up. Some of them are undercover. Uh, so I have uh, not only my uh, community relations uh, section here, I have my school resource, I have my juvenile intervention team, I have my uh, crime impact team, I have my transit deputy who works with uh, the transit system, uh, I have all the uh, lieutenants here. The crime prevention lieutenant, I have my operations lieutenant, my DB lieutenant. So I, I introduce each one of those sections because it really takes the team to build what we have done here in Santa Clarita to reduce the crime. And it really is with the partnership of the community and with the support of not only the city and the county, uh, but really the support of the community. We started something a few years ago, several years ago. It was the See Something, Say Something campaign. And it still holds true in Santa Clarita. We empower the Santa Clarita residents to watch what's going on, see what's happening, engage themselves in what's happening, and be our eyes and ears. There are several things that we do uh, within the department in order to 
mitigate mission specific and to reduce the crime. These individuals standing behind me are the ones that when you're out in the community, when people are out in the community with law enforcement officers, really shake their hand and thank them for what they do. And I'll share this last story with you and then uh, I'll have a seat and let everything proceed. But several years ago when I was in Santa Clarita uh, as a lieutenant, uh, I walked into a uh, Walmart. And when I walked into the Walmart, uh, I was met by a mother and her young son. And when I met them, the first thing she said was, and I'll just use Johnny. I apologize for any Johns in the room. So Johnny, if you don't behave, this man's going to take you to jail. What I say to the community is that please no more. When you see us in the community, when you see us or you're with your sons and daughters, you need to let them know that, hey, Johnny, this is the person that's going to come save us. This is the person that's going to come to protect us. Because that's what law enforcement is about. We're here to protect. We're here to take care of the community. Uh, we do the best we can. Um, and, and that's what we want to relate, is that surround yourselves around us. We will always wrap our arms around the community. And these individuals standing behind me and the ones that are working at patrol we couldn't get in, I would tell you it's it, with the personnel we have, and although we have shortages, to wrap your arms around 293,000 residents is a huge undertaking. And these individuals deserve the, uh, the applause and uh, the respect that they've given to the community, uh, give back to them for what they've done to lower the crime. Thank you very much for being here, and I appreciate everyone's, uh, everyone's appreciation of us. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. Thank you so much. A few dignitaries in attendance have requested to come up and say a few words to express their gratitude, and I will now individually call up each dignitary to approach the podium. I'd like to welcome Representative Jonathan Amati from Congressman, Congresswoman Katie Hill's office. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Captain, I'll tell my mom you said that so that uh, she'll stop. <laughs> uh, good morning, everyone. I'm going to keep this uh, short and sweet. As, uh, as the daughter of a police officer, Representative Hill understands the vital service that law enforcement provides for us on a daily basis. Um, our office looks forward to working together to find ways to support our local peace officers and first responders. And I just want to say thank you to each and every single one of you and to the Santa Clarita Sheriff for your continued commitment to this community. So thank you. Thank you, all of you. I would like to welcome Representative Michelle Campbell from Assemblywoman Christy Smith's office. Good morning, everybody. So I'm a proud daughter of an LA County Sheriff's Sergeant who's um, no longer with us. So it is my uh, deepest honor on behalf of the Assemblywoman Christy Smith to recognize all of your hard work and all of your community building and uh, all of this um, you know, terrific work that you've been doing with us um, to, that resulted in the lowest crime rate. Uh, that the city's ever seen, so thank you. And with that, I'd like to present this award. Thank you so much. Actually, this goes to the Sheriff's Department, right? Yes, to the Sheriff's yes. Department. Yes, to the Sheriff's Department. <laughs> Got it. Let me just get out of your way here. And to the city, of course, oh, <laughs> and also to the Wonderful. city, yes, and to the city of Santa Clarita. On, on behalf of the state legislature, we would like to rec congratulate the city on achieving the lowest record crime rate in its 31-year history in partnership with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. We thank you for the commitment you have demonstrated to the public safety, law enforcement, and the well-being of the residents of our community.
And I would now like to welcome Representative Chris Huff from Senator Scott Wilk's office. Thank you, Mayor. Chris Huff, um, first of all, on behalf of me, because I'm a resident with a family who lives here in Santa Clarita, thank you all for keeping us safe. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But I'm here to represent State Senator Scott Wilk, and he couldn't be prouder of this city and this sheriff station and the men and women at the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station for all you do in our community and for keeping our community safe. So on behalf of Senator Wilk, thank you for everything you do. And I also have something for Captain Lewis and his team. So Captain Lewis, if you wouldn't mind standing up with your team, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> and we thank you so much. And now I would like to welcome Representative Stephanie English from 5th District's Supervisor Catherine Barger's office. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor. It's nice to be here. I want to just replicate uh, Chris's comments. I'm a resident, too. When I see you guys out and about, it's with a lot of pride that I know you're working behind the scenes, that you're protecting families like those that are represented here. And uh, we're very proud of that. We're very proud of your work. I know you all probably don't like all this pomp and circumstance, but we're genuine about our appreciation for what you do and how hard you work. It's a small, loud voice that sometimes uh, comes against law enforcement. This is wonderful because uh, you know, a huge majority of our community and our public countywide are major supporters of what the LA County Sheriff's Department does. So thank you for everything. As we all know, there's no secret that Supervisor Barger is a huge uh, supporter of law enforcement. And she fought hard to keep the SROs on the campuses of school resource officers. She um, uh, put forward, forward a motion to uh, advance the recruiting and the retention so that you all weren't working so hard. And we're still working on that. Don't give up on us. But we just wanted to say thank you very much for all your work and dedication. I appreciate you very much. Rob, you have to come up. <laughs> Now, in order to ensure that our deputies have everything they need to be efficient at their jobs, the City of Santa Clarita and Los Angeles County Supervisor Catherine Barger are working together on the new and larger Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station. It is already under construction and is slated to be open by the end of 2020. This is something that our city has been working towards for a long time, and we are so happy and proud that we're going to be able to give you all exactly what you deserve in order to be able to get your work done. The existing 25,100 square foot station was built in the 1970s. And as you can imagine, after nearly 50 years, the community has grown and the number of deputies has increased. But with all of this growth, the station size has remained the same. Nonetheless, our deputies have been doing an outstanding job. And I am excited to see what you all can achieve once the new sheriff station, a state-of-the-art 46,000 square foot facility, is completed. To the deputies from our Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station, I speak for all of us here today. And from the bottom of my heart, Congratulations and thank you. 
and thank you for the important work you do day in and day out to keep our city, sta city safe. And just on a personal note, I just, I began my career working for the Los Angeles Police Department very closely and intimately with the men and women. And I just want to tell you how much we appreciate what you do every single day to keep our community safe. We understand what you go through sometimes. And that is why we support you 100%. We appreciate you and want to thank you. This now concludes the press conference. And I now ask our deputies and dignitaries in attendance to please join me for a photo. <laughs>